So guys, we're going to continue with the fourth video where we're going to deal with the carboxylic acid derivative chem uh, chemistry uh, where we're going to start off with acyl chloride. So acyl chloride is also known as acid chloride which has the general formula of CnH2n plus 1 COCl. So they are not named by dropping the uh, ic acid from the carboxylic acid and then adding oil chloride. So um, if you have 2C, you're going to have ethanol chloride, 3C propanol chloride, 4C butanol chloride, 6C hexanol chloride, benzene with uh, acyl chloride is benzoyl chloride, and uh, benzene with a CH2 COCl is phenyl ethanol chloride. So these are the isomers for C4H7OCl and C5H9OCl. So uh, C4H7OCl has two isomers, so butanol chloride and 2-methyl propanol chloride. And then C5HOCl has four isomer, namely pentanoyl chloride, 2 methyl, 3 methyl uh, butanoyl chloride, and also 2 2 dimethyl propanoyl chloride. So among them, a uh, 2 methyl butanoyl chloride is optically active because it's surrounded by four different groups. Okay, so this is the uh, isomer pair uh, for the acyl chloride. So uh, as discussed earlier, acyl chloride can be prepared by reacting carboxylic acid with phosphorus pentachloride or thionyl chloride under reflux. So if you react with PCl5, you form acyl chloride plus the side product of POCl3 and HCl. And then if you react with thionyl chloride, you form the same product, COCl. Side product is SO2 and HCl. So both HCl is observed as a white film. Now since acyl chloride are most reactive of the acyl derivative, they are easily converted to a less reactive one. So uh, why is it that acyl chloride is the most reactive? This is uh, this is thanks to the uh, partial uh, this is thanks to the highly electronegative oxygen, which caused the uh, Cl bond to be polarized. So as a result, the CCl bond here is weakened. Okay. So in another word, in here. Uh, the CO bond causes inductive effect which eventually rendering the CCL bond. So that is why the CL are always ready to leave the group. So it often uh, it often the best synthesis route to an anhydride, an ester or an amide synthesis uh, of acyl chloride from the carboxylic acid then convert to acyl chloride to the desired acyl derivative. So here we have a uh, three look at uh, here we have a look at the three chemicals reactions of acyl chloride. Uh, start off with water to form back a carboxylic acid with hydrogen chloride. We can also react with alcohol under reflux to form ester plus uh, hydrogen chloride. We can react with different classes of ammonia and amine to form different classes of amide. So to form a primary amide, you react with an ammonia. To form secondary amide, you react with primary amine. And to form a tertiary amide, you react with secondary amine. So we shall look into details one by one later. So acyl chloride are among the starting from the first one, uh, acyl chloride are among the most reactive carboxylic acid can, can be converted into many other kinds of compounds by nucleophilic uh, nucleophilic acyl substitution mechanism. So it react with water to yield carboxylic acid. Yeah? So we have COCl plus H2O from COH plus HCl. So uh, the mechanism start off with the water act as a nucleophile and attack the partial positively uh, carbon. So eventually the deprotonation take place and HCl is formed as a side product to form the carboxylic acid. So these are examples of the reactions where ethanol chloride when we add water to form ethanol acid, 2 methyl propanol chloride form 2 methyl propanol acid and benzoyl chloride form benzoyl acid. All of them form HCl as a side product which you can observe as a white film. So acidification of acyl chloride when we react with alcohols under reflux to yield ester within a process analogous to their reaction with water to yield acid. So in fact, this reaction is most probable method, common methods to prepare ester in laboratory where we have acyl chloride, we have ester to, uh, alcohol to form ester plus hydrogen chloride. So the reaction of an alcohol with an acyl chloride is strongly affected by static hindrance. So bulky group in on either slow down the reaction considerably, resulting in the reactivity order among the alcohol, which is primary, the most uh, reactive, secondary and tertiary is the least reactive. So as a result, it's often possible to esterify and unhinder alcohol selectively in the presence of more hinder one. So uh, what is this statement trying to say is, if you have a primary alcohol and secondary alcohol, so um, acyl chloride will preferably to react with a primary alcohol to form the ester instead of a secondary alcohol in here. <coughs> so some of the reactions in, uh, uh, involving the formation of ester are shown to you. So if you have this reaction, so you form this ester. Uh, when you have cyclo, cyclopentyl acyl chloride, we have a ethanol, you form this ester. 
probably correct where the six one will form this uh, ester. So phenylbenzoate is especially prepared by reacting benzoyl chloride and phenol in alkaline solution under reflux. So you have a benzoyl chloride plus phenol in alkaline solution under reflux to form a, ben a phenylbenzoate. Okay, so this is the second reactions of uh, acyl chloride to form ester. And the third reaction is the formation of amide. So the process is also known as amino disease. Acyl chloride reacts rapidly with ammonia and amine to give amide. So as with ammonia chloride plus alcohol methods for preparing ester, this reaction of acyl chloride with amine is mostly common to use in laboratory to prepare amide. So both monosubstituted R-NH2 and disubstituted R2-NH amine can be used but not trisubstituted amine. So this cannot. Huh? So here are the general equations for the reaction. If you want to synthesis a primary amide, it uses ammonia. So note that the side product form is NH4Cl. If you want to form a secondary amide, you use a primary amine. And note that the side product form is RNH3Cl. And if you are reacting with a, to form a tertiary amide, you, form, uh, you react acyl chloride with a secondary amine. And this is the side product of the reactions. So because HCl is formed during the reaction, two equivalent amines must be used. One react equivalent reaction with the acyl chloride, and another one react with the HCl byproduct to form an ammonium salt, uh, chloride salt. So here are a few examples. So this um, when you react with ammonia, so you form a primary amine plus NH4C as a side product. When a benzoyl chloride react with ammonia, so you form benzamide with NH4Cl. So this is a primary amine. So when you react with primary amine, you form a secondary amide. And when you react with a secondary amine, you form a tertiary amide. So this is how we are going to tell the reactions of acyl chloride with um, ammonia and also other different classes of amine. Next, we are going to have a look at ester. So ester are among the most widespread of all natural occurring compounds. Many simple ester are pleasant smelling liquids that are responsible for the fragrant odor of fruits and flowers. For example, methyl butanol is found in pineapple oil. Isopentyl acetate is banana oil. So the ester linkage is also present in animal fats as in many biological important molecules. So nomenclature involving the naming of SQ, uh, naming the LQ from alcohol, and then carboxylic ion from carboxylic acid. So for example, if you have CH3-2C, you have got methyl methanoate, methyl ethanoate. If you have 2C here and 3C here, ethyl propanoate. If you have 1C here and 2C here, you have uh, methyl ethanoate. Uh, this is a cyclopentyl methanoate. This is a propyl benzoate. And finally, this is a ben phenyl benzoate. So this, uh, as mentioned, described earlier, um, Whenever we are considering for the isomerism of ester, we should also consider for carboxylic acid. So uh, in here, you have the name for both carboxylic acid and also ester. So if you have C3H6O2, you can have a uh, propanoic acid. You can have a uh, methyl ethanoate, and you can also have an uh, ethyl methanoate. So if it is C4H8O2, you are going to have more isomer. So these three, uh, these two are made from the carboxylic acid. The four are made from ester. So ester can be prepared by the reaction between alcohol and carboxylic acid or acyl chloride. So chart below show the readiness of the carboxylic acid acyl chloride to react with alcohol. So uh, these are the flow chart for the reaction in here. So here are a few chemical reactions of ester. So uh, since the formation of the ester is a condensation reaction, so backward reaction of condensation is hydrolysis. So when you react with a dilute acid or dilute alkali under reflux, you form back the desired carboxylic acid plus alcohol. However, if you react with sodium hydroxide, you form a carboxylic ion and also alkyl alcohol. Second one is the reduction of ester. So we use a <coughs> strong reducing agent such as LiLH4 in dry ether followed by H2O+. So you can see I purposely use two different colors to distinguish to you what are the alcohols that is formed. So when RCOO, which is from the carboxylic acid, you form a primary alcohol. While RO in here, we also form alcohol depending on what class it is. So let's start from the first one, which is the acidic hydrolysis of ester. So an ester is hydrolyzed either by aqueous base, base or aqueous uh, acid to yield carboxylic acid plus an alcohol. So this is the equation for the acidic hydrolysis, while this is the equation for alkaline hydrolysis. So carboxylic ion is formed by the hydroxide uh, hydrolysis of alkaline solution, however, can form back carboxylic acid by adding acidic solution inside there to form back the desired product. 
Each hydrolysis in basic solution is called as saponification. So after the Latin word sapo, sapo means soap. So it's actually made by boiling animal fats with aqueous base to hydrolyze the ester uh, linkage. So these are examples of the ester uh, this uh, hydrolysis take place uh, inside the molecule. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to understand in here. So when you break into here, so this one will form carboxylic acid and this one will form alcohol. When you break in here, this one will form carboxylic acid, this one will form alcohol. Now when you break in here, this one will form alcohol, this one will form carboxylic acid. And when you break in base in here, this one will become uh, uh, this um, benzoyl, uh, sodium benzoate and also phenoxide ion. So not that especially uh, when they involve phenol. Uh, so as we mentioned earlier, in the uh, phenol and NaOH will form a salt of O and A. So this is the chemical properties of uh, this is the esterifications of uh, ester. Uh, this is the hydrolysis of ester. The second one is the reduction of ester. So ester can easily reduce to two different alcohol using strong reducing agent. So note that the reaction uh, that CO from the COR is first broken, so to form an aldehyde and undergo the reaction. So therefore, uh, we can see in here uh, how the a process take place for the reduction first you form aldehyde eventually primary alcohol okay so uh, in here RO cannot be uh, can be a primary I mean or uh, can be a primary alcohol or secondary alcohol uh, depend what is the alcohol surrounding it so these are examples of the equation for the reactions Okay, so esters are among the most widespread of all natural occurring compounds. So many simple esters are pleasant smelling liquid that are responsible in fragrant odor of fruits and flowers found in the form of fats and oil, which are also known as lipids. So lipids are organic substances which found in living organisms, which is very insoluble in water. So members of lipids include fats, oil, steroid, waxes, and uh, vitamin. So fatty acids are common name of a long chain of carboxylic acid which is obtained from fats and oil. So their natural occurring ester are uh, formed by preparing 1,2,3-propane-1,2,3 triol, also known as crystal and the long chain of fatty acid. So in here, you can see that how does the uh, reaction take place of the hydrolysis when you form uh, glycerol and also long chain of fatty acids. So uh, there are generally two types of fatty acid, one is saturated, one is unsaturated. So uh, saturated contain only C single bond C, while unsaturated contain at least one C double bond C. So natural product of fats and oil of, is a mixture containing saturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acids. Uh. So here are a few examples that you might want to have a look into. Okay. And then important use of fats and oil is applied to soap making. So soap are sodium or potassium salt of a long chain of fatty acid. So hydrolysis of fats and oil in aqueous sodium hydroxide also known as saponification. So uh, this one is already from fiber, so I'm not going to touch it very long. Huh? So under the application of producing cooking oil and margarine, the making soap ester are also well known for this field industry and uh, using a few additive solvent for drugs and antibiotic and cosmetic are uh, used in produce, cosmetic and uh, perfume, cologne and also air freshener. Uh, polystyrene cement is used to bind uh, to another sub type of surface on the cement. Then you have polyester, polystyrene and unstable polyester. Okay. So with that I finish my fourth video. Thank you very much.